Hello and welcome back. So let's fix this problem we are seeing here with uh, tests because this teacher clearly has tests that are not showing here. So in order to always fix, in order to fix a problem, it's always a good idea to go step by step, line by line, until you find the line with the problem. So here we have a query and everything is in here, but um, it seems this does not return what we want. So the first thing to do is let's check it out here if this actually returns anything at all because we don't want to fix uh, something that is already working. So let's do that and let's see what we get when we refresh the page. So it seems here we are getting results, which is very strange considering uh, there's nothing down here. So where then is the problem? So tests created by... Hmm. So if this actually gives us results, what's the problem? So not the query, but here we are getting, oh, I see what's going on here. We are not sending those rows. We just have a row here. Hmm. This is very strange indeed. Oh, we are actually, because we are putting this in data. Okay, I almost got confused there for a second, but test rows is active. So it means now we need to go to our view and see what's going on down there. So profile view. And once we get here, let's try and um, echo out the same content. Let's see if the row is correct. This will display. That's all good. But uh, yes, we get to the tabs here. So the tab tests is right here, include profile tab tests. So that's the file we should be looking for. So that's profile tab test inc. And there we go. So once we find it, we have the title, everything and um, right. So if the rank is a student, uh, we showed this, but if it isn't a student, which it isn't in this case, we show tests. Very cool. So let's look for that file, tests.inc, which is this one. Very nice. And it's looking for test rows, which is exactly what we are supplying here, test rows. So, so far it should be working just fine. So. At this point, I just want to see if we are getting to here. So I'll put some PHP tags and do show that. So let's see if we do get good results there. And yeah, there is content here. Awesome. So that works. Uh, how about if we move it to the for each loop? For each test rows as test rows. So I'm sure here things are working just fine. So what exactly is the problem? I don't get it. Huh. Okay. So let me save this. And let's refresh. Okay. Let's see here. Zero one two three hmm interesting so things are supposed to show here but they're not uh so there's a table let me just make sure let me put a one here i want a visual uh, reminder that i'm actually on the right page so there we go we have that one there so this is the right page. Okay, so it means the table rows inside here may not be working. So table row. Uh, this is just a style. Table data. If access is a lecturer, which it currently is because this one is a lecturer, we're supposed to see some kind of a button here. So let me put some text here as well, hello, because I'm completely blown away by the lack of content down here. What exactly is going on here? Let me move this here. 
All right, so there's hello there. Okay, this is very strange. Okay, so what could be happening is that there's an error, but we can't see it. Maybe that's why the end, because I think the footer is missing as well. So what to do in this case is right click and go to view page source. Uh, maybe we'll get some errors down there. Go to the very bottom of the page. Let's try and see. Oh, there we go. Finally, something to work with. See why I love errors, because at least they point you in the right direction. Here where we don't have errors, we can't really tell what's happening. Okay, so it's saying undefined variable unsubmitted. Ah, right. Okay, great. So I guess when I deleted some content, I removed something else as well. So unsubmitted, uh, so it's showing the stack trace here where exactly things went wrong. So it starts from here. You have to go upward like this until you get to the test.inc. And this is the part in array. Uh, what is this line number 13? So let's look for line 13 and there we go. So this one right here is missing and submitted. Okay. Okay, so this is a group of unsubmitted um, tests. All right, 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 right. I see what's going on here. Background color. Okay, so this has become a problem only because this file is used several times. Now, we added this, or I added this, because of the tests page itself. If I click on tests, it sh it's supposed to show me the unsubmitted tests right here directly. Um, so let's go back to the tests controller and see how we create the unsubmitted uh, variable so we can do the same on this one so I'll go to tests.php and let's look for unsubmitted instead of trying to find it by I uh, let me um, there we go so unsubmitted is created simply by doing this okay so cool I'll just copy that and let's go to profile.php. And right here, where we are doing this, let's add one more item right here. Okay, since we are adding directly to data, so I'm going to do data like this and like that and echo and semicolon since this is not inside a. Uh, an array and there we go so finally we get the tests that we want here cool okay so classes are working tests are working very nice and so you see the process of creating new features adding things and uh, fixing problems so hopefully the whole series has taught you one or two things on how to go about coding big applications like this. So of course there are things we can do better. Uh, there are things we can um, simplify the code because some of the code repeats itself and you can go in and try to simplify it or make it run faster by reducing the amount of uh, code and variables that you're using there. That's called refactoring code. So just make it more efficient. But just the way we did with this section here where we changed, we replaced a whole bunch of code with just one query here. So that's always good to do. But if it's not broken, don't fix it. That's a good rule. Or if you want to fix it, just save the old version of your files and then you can try attempt to fix something. And so that if you fail, you have a backup with you. But otherwise, I think this will bring us to the end of our series because we've pretty much... I wanted to add semesters here, but uh, I don't really know how much help that would be because it's only like a filter for searching of items because it will just check 
to see what month the same way we are checking for year it can combine the two where the year and the month signify a specific semester and so on and then show just those files but it's a similar concept to the year thing only that in um, if you are to run a query uh, checking for the month you just change this to month and that's it like so so now it will look for a particular month that matches a particular search term there so you can just put and month date is equal to semester something like that depending on how many semesters you have for your school semester is supposed to be two in a year but some schools add three or four and so on which is just weird but that's what it is so so far so good things are working here in the next video let's look at uh, the process what we've done so far what we've created with this uh, what works and what doesn't and uh, a few pointers on how to move forward i'll see you in the next video